Hello my fellow geeks and this is your boy Lewis with GWH. Today I will show you how to prevent your eye device from overheating. Now before we continue, your iPhone will not overheat and explode, maybe shut down and maybe malfunction but will not explode in your pocket, for example watch this video right here. And let's continue on. Tip number one, charge your iPhone with either an Apple made charger or a trusted third party charger. I recommend buying it from Apple or Amazon. Read the link below. And here's an example of what I'm talking about. Use one of these if you need to charge it into your car. This is a third party charger from eBay. It works fine and perfect. Or this one right here, which is also from eBay, but it was sold by Apple because I have a green dot to make it official. I recommend buying one of these or the full set. It will cost less than $5 if you use the Amazon link down below. For drastic measures, you might need to erase your iDevice, which includes iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, and set it up as a new device. Don't restore your backup first. Set up your iPhone completely. Either keep it as it is or restore it from your process to re erase everything you want to go ahead up to your settings right there now you want to go down to general right there scroll to the very bottom click reset and click reset all settings and erase your entire device and every single day and set up as a new device and maybe restore if you think it will be best now maybe you're running too many apps and services this could be a problem for low storage iPhones such as an 16 gigabyte or 32 gigabyte depending on how many apps you have on your device and what you are running in the background. Now, I recommend turning off services as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and any unnecessary notifications. You can do this by clicking settings right there. Let's go back. Click settings and go to notifications. It will show you everything. You can search F by manual or by time and you just need to edit them just like this to move them around or you could click them and turn it off like this on the notification center. Turn off your Bluetooth by clicking Bluetooth and clicking off, don't click on. And turn off Wi-Fi, click clicking Wi-Fi and click off. Like this, swipe to the up and you should be done. And last but not least, double tap your home button to bring up your quick access menu. Hold down an app for less than two seconds and click the all gone. And I recommend turning down the sound as well. Now you might find yourself a little stupid for not thinking about this your own self, but lower your brightness to 50% or even 0%. I also recommend using a setting called Auto Brightness. To do this, just click Settings. Scroll down to Brightness and Wallpaper if you use an iOS 6. And click this to bring it brighter or to lower the brightness. Just put on 50% and also click the Auto Brightness on. Hopefully, these tips work for you and your hot head device, iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Please do like this video, comment your success story down below, share with others, and subscribe now. Till next time, this is your boy Lewis with GWH, signing off.